Hello everybody, I'm Kevin, welcome to the shop. Uh, I've been out here playing with the old Pratt & Whitney and I got to thinking about that old face-off series that uh, Adam Booth um, and Keith Fenner and Tom Lipton got into a little over a year ago. And uh, finally stumbled across some 6-inch, uh, I believe 1018, and I thought I'd play with it a little bit and see just what this little guy will do. Um, I found out I am a little bit limited by my variable frequency drive. It's uh, keeping me from blowing stuff up and killing myself and you know sending flaming bits across the shop. So once you start to load it up a little bit, uh, it'll tend to shut down. So we're going to get out here and play with it anyway and see just what the machine will do within the limitations of the variable frequency drive. But uh, that'll be interesting. Okay, everybody, here's the idiot end of the uh, Pratt & Whitney, you know, where the uh, idiot sets up all the wrong stuff and cuts things wrong. Uh, this is an indirect reading machine, so I've got it set here on, uh, on 15 thousandths, which will give me 30 thousandths per revolution at the, um, at the, at the cross slide. And see, so we are on A and here, down on on the bottom so we are good for 15. The RPM I've got these two levers apart which brings us down here and these two across it's going to give us 453 RPM. Okay and we're back. Uh, to save you a lot of drama um, this kind of pointless it didn't cut that deep. So we're going to go ahead and take um, take a 50 thousandths cut on it now. Imagine if I kind of give this thing a little bit of a shade. You can see that that is 50. Um, we'll get this thing out of here. And we'll go ahead and fire up the variable frequency drive and get this old beast running. Bearings how uh, still haven't put the new ones in yet, but here we go, let her rip. Okay, that is with the CNMG inserts that uh, I got from Ben Zintner when uh, I picked up this tool holder from him. So, if you want to know what it is, I'm afraid you're going to have to ask him. I honestly haven't tried to look it up. Um, I guess we'll try to go just a little bit deeper and see if that old beast will go to... We'll go out uh, a little bit deeper. I know it won't do the 75. That, uh, that failed miserably. So we'll see if it'll uh, we'll see if it'll do 60 just because. Let's go ahead and set this thing up. Uh, oh well, you're just off camera. You can't quite. Or it's just off camera. You can't quite see it there. Um, let's go ahead and go 65. See if it'll take it. Um, I know it didn't like 75, so. Uh, here we go again. Looks like 75 uh, or 65 is not a problem. 50 fine if you make it a little bit of a mess. Okay, it did that, so yeah, we'll, we'll 
get the full 75 and uh, see what happens with it. Um, try not to knock you guys around too much more. Here we go for 75. Miss that. Set that up. Get off of there. Now we'll go for seventy five. It's fifty. Seventy five. Variable frequency drive shut that thing down, so uh, let me reset this, and we will go for uh, we will go for a little bit deeper cut. All right, we're going to try this again, uh, just for giggles. Cut the uh, the feed rate in half. It's now at fifteen thousandths per revolution. Just to have a little fun with it, see what it does, and we're going to take this thing over. I found my edge again. We're going to take it over one hundred and make a mess. Make some chips fly because hey that's what we're all here for anyway. And speed is on. Chips are flying. Clean that up, went over 100 just because you're here to watch some chips fly, so uh, let's make some chips fly. It's still running the same speed of 453 RPM. We slowed the uh, feed rate down to uh, about 4,000. It's breaking off nice. Uh, looks like the heat's going with them. And uh, we'll take a look at them as soon as we finish this cut. Although uh, we're going to have a bit of a mess to play up here in the shop afterwards. But, hey, that's all for the fun. silly enough to try to grab those things by hand so uh, let's take a look here there we go and chips are coming out uh, 145 that's not bad and um, kind of we had to slow it down to get there but uh, I said the variable frequency drive wasn't going to let me play too much. Yep, 143. So, anyway, that's about it for the Pratt Whitney this time, and uh, we'll check it out and see uh, what we're going to play with on the next go around. Thanks for stopping in.